Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to some motoring. Today is going to be a super fun day. I've got my friend Christian here. He's brought his beautiful black BMW Z4 35i with the manual gearbox. So Christian's kindly come down here. We're going to do a couple of videos and hopefully this will be a fun, fun day. So here we go. First time sitting in the passenger seat of a Z4 being driven. So it's quite a fun experience. <laughs> There's that six cylinder! Wow! Firstly, are there any speed cameras on his phone? No, that's right. No, <laughs> luckily, there's no speed cameras here. Well, fingers yeah, crossed, yeah, yeah. But I'm sure there isn't. But Christian, on that note, how are you? You alright? Yeah, yeah, it's been really good. I'm glad that the weather's alright. Nice. Get the roof down. Yeah, perfect it's day. Quite, it's these cars for, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. Roof down, motor in. Exactly. Nice notes and in this car. Tell me a bit more about this car. How long have you had it? So I've had this since January. January uh, I, I didn't really expect to go out buying this car, but they had me down at the local dealer, went and looked at it. So I've never been too keen on the back end design. All right, but, okay. But, you know, I love the front end and basically the more modern That's right. top of it. But um, went down, bought it, purely because of the engine. It's a beast. It's nice. <laughs> Like it's quick, it's smooth, the torque comes in straight at the bottom end. Yeah. Because the difference in this engine to the 35 IS yeah. is that this is two turbos for top end and low end. Right. And that as opposed to your engine, you've got the, the twin the stroke. Scroll. Yeah. Um, I mean, another drawback of that is just it's pretty thirsty. Right. When right, you put right, your foot right. down. But when I'm driving to and from work, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. I'm not driving well. So to recap, you've got a three-liter six-cylinder yep. engine, twin turbo. Twin turbo. How much horsepower? Three hundred nine. Three hundred nine horsepower. And how much? How much torque? The work, I think, is four hundred. Four hundred newton meters of torque. That's a lot of torque. Yeah. And by the way, guys, this is a small car, so it's a lot of torque for a, for this type of car, isn't it? Yeah. Really. And what's your naught to sixty done? It's about five point one to five point two. Seconds. But I think if you get the 35 IS, which is basically the DCT T, version of yeah. it, it's about 5.0 or 4.9. 4.9. I suppose, yeah, this is a manual as well, so it's all dependent on how quickly you shift. Yeah, and sometimes for me it's not that quick. <laughs> <laughs> Do you miss a gear sometimes, you know, going up and down there? <laughs> I just jump a gear, miss a gear, <laughs> forget to change gear. Okay, so the spec you went for, so you, similar to mine. Yeah. So you went for the black. Yeah. But I love these seats. What, what's the colour? Do you know what the colour of these seats are called? Ivory. 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 So it's not white. It's more, slightly more creamy. Maybe the camera picks it up. Yeah. Um, but no, it's 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 wearing quite well. You know, this car's done sixty thousand miles. Right. And I don't know if it's had a, a deep thing. So I haven't always owned this car. Like I said, I've been since January. Yeah. yeah but yeah, as yeah. you can see, that it's not dirty. It's good, yeah. Marks on it. I'm not extra careful in here. I think I do need to maybe clean the driver's seat, but yeah. the bolster's good. There's no, no sort of like fade on the, from the jeans on the seats. So they, they're, they're wearing really, really well. That's a really good thing, because if you think it's an ivory, you know, jeans and ivory don't go well, but it's doing quite well, yeah. And I, I, another reason, and one of the things I noticed as soon as I got in the car, the dealer, yeah. was, the, was the Alcantara. Yeah, 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 I haven't got this, but this is nice. It is nice. I was like, wow. And it's on the seats as well. It's, yeah. Um, yeah, it's lovely. But that's another drawback to it. So the seat belts, yeah. if you're not really broad and, you know, it's, I think uh, they do rub. They rub on the Alcantara. Ah, oh, so it sort of wears. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe the camera picks that up. Yeah, 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 I'll show that in. Okay. You need to, like, shake it off or something. <laughs> <laughs> Trim it down. So 
you've had this car for five months, you've loved every minute of it, I can imagine. I have, you know, I before this, I had the E86 Coupe, yep. which is uh, basically the, the straight six, non-turbo version of this. Yeah. Yeah. And um, I really loved that car. Yeah. But then I came and sat in here, and it's got all the modern equipment that I kind of needed, because I still do quite a lot of miles in the car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And in the old one, it's, it's pretty stripped back. There's, there's not a lot in there. I didn't have that many features. Was it a manual or a auto? Manual, manual. yeah. Exact manual. It was 260-ish brake horse. And um, I got in this, and the engine just blew me away, because that low-end torque really yeah. just picks up from the beginning. And it and sounds I've really good. All the, all the luxuries that you want as well. It's a lot more comfortable to be in here. Yeah, than, than, the, the, old than the old one. one. Yeah. And I can spot, got a similar spec to my car, so you've got dual zone, climate control, you've got heated seats, yeah. parking sensors, but I can imagine because it's a 35i, all of this comes as standard, whereas mine's an optional extra. Yeah, I think so. I don't know what is standard on this car, but when I look at the list of things, it's quite extensive. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. All yeah. the tele services and things like that. Multimedia system, yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, the iDrive itself, is, it's so good, isn't it? Yeah, it's fantastic. It's Be one really of the best things about these Z4s, the iDrive, it's amazing. Yeah, really It's agree. really, really good. But yeah, okay, nice. So you got black with uh, ivory, similar wheels, so you got the yeah. big 19s. Yeah, yeah, so I guess, yeah, we should say this is the, the M Sport version. M Sport, yeah. So the front bumpers, rear bumpers. Twin exhaust. Twin, twin exhaust, exhaust pipes, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. But I, I was in two phase about the outside colour, but black does look nice yeah. in this car. I think you've said it before. If it's clean, black, it looks the business. Yeah. Yeah. It's actually so hard to keep clean. <laughs> it is hard to keep clean. On a day like this, it's great. Yeah. You get such high glass, such a high red yeah. shine on the car. And it's got metallic flakes in the paint, so you can, it actually really pops yeah, exactly. in the sun. Yeah, the sapphire black. I think sapphire, yeah, black, so, yeah, yeah, black sapphire. Really nice. We're lucky that we're on a smooth road as well. Yeah. So, so I've also got the run flat tyres and the 19s. That's one of the things we'll come back to. Yeah. The run flats. Yeah, man. What are the five things you love about this car, Christian? To like break it down from like outside and inside. Yeah. I've got this this thing that I really notice in cars, and that's door handles. Okay. I don't know if you've mentioned this or you, you've noticed it yourself. Right, yeah. The Z4s always have really, really, really nice, nice door, door handles. handles. Yeah. They, they go with the body lines. So yeah. That's one thing I love about this car because usually with all the other cars going past, yeah. door handles, they just stick out. It's like an afterthought, isn't yeah. it? Like, oh, I should add a doubt. And it doesn't flow, yeah. It doesn't flow at all, but the Z4, they're in the body line, really nice. Yeah. Um, the M Sport package as well. M Sport kit, really yeah. Really improves the performance, like the, the aggressive the look, look. On, on this car. Yeah. Especially with the, the twin exhaust. Like another practical thing. Yeah. I love this, this cubby shelf back here. Yep. You, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you can get quite a lot back there. As you can see, like my whole life is on that shelf. <laughs> You've got your books on there, you got everything. <laughs> Sounds good, this thing. And that's the other reason. Yes! <laughs> Or on to the next point, the sound. <laughs> the sound, yeah. As soon as the roof comes down, you get the back of the exhaust notes coming through. I, I, I really like it. And it's, it's, it's still luxurious, the side. Yeah. When I pop it into normal comfort, dampens the suspension in a soft way. So you can just kind of use this as more of a GT car. But then you go into sport and you can give it some. Yeah. It's kind of, it covers all bases pretty well. So number four, what's your fourth favourite thing? Probably just the seating position. Yeah. You, you know, you're far back from the front end, which is what I like. And you're low down as well. Yeah. So yeah, seating position. I was the same, I mean, you sit really low down, you, all that bonnet in front of you, it's, it's yeah. a really nice, uh, nice feeling. And the fifth and final thing, what's your favourite thing? Just two seats. Yeah. I love having two seats. <laughs> I don't have to give anybody lifts. So yeah. you know, I can be completely selfish. Yeah, 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 yeah. Take myself where I want to go. <laughs> you don't have to worry about don't anyone. Don't worry about anybody back there. Yeah. To be fair, some of my friends don't like when you go away. Uh, oh, I can't come in that car on there. We have to find a, another way of getting there. But like, yeah, screw you. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> oh, you have to drive. Sorry. Yeah. So, okay. So the five point Christian loves. M Sport kit. The sound. 
the interior space behind the seats, the seating position, and the fact it's got two seats. Wonderful. Yeah. Brilliant. It could all be drawbacks at the same time, I think. Yeah. That's it, what it could be. the problem it could be. is. But it could be. You know, that's one of the reasons I like the car. I bought the car for these, these annoyances, which I see as positive. Right. Okay. What are the five things you don't like about the Z435i? <laughs> I've got to start with the run flat tire. <laughs> I've got to, I've got to say it, you know. Yeah. They're so harsh. But when I bought the car, I had two new tires in the back from the previous owner. Yeah. And also, they'd also replaced the, the rear alloys themselves. Okay. Because they crack. They do, do crack. There's yes. warranty problems with these alloys. Yeah, 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 yeah. Coupled with the run flat tires. Yeah. See, I said this in my video, and I got some stick for it. These 19s are prone to crack. Yeah, they are. They are. Do you, do you find that like, the ride is also hard when you go over some bumps mm. because of these run flats and partly because of yeah, they look the 19s look good, yeah. but because of that and the run flats, the ride is a bit harsh sometimes. Really harsh, especially for like the UK roads. Yeah. I, I think when you've got a nice road, it works really, really well. When they were testing it and developing it on the smooth roads, it works really well. Yeah. But practically. Sometimes you've had a, you know, a bad day, you're tired. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 really yeah, yeah. bumpy. You just kind of, you, you, you kind of, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? You feel each bump and you think, oh, <laughs> yeah. Car, yeah, I know, know what you mean. The I push, know what you mean. The bearing. Yeah, 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 I know exactly what you mean. So the run flats is number one. Yeah, completely. Number two, what's your second thing you don't like about this car? <sighs> when the roof is up, it can be quite rattly in here. It does rattle. Right. I, I'm forever finding new rattles yeah. uh, that I then go around and find and then fix right. and solve. But then a new a new one comes up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't know how much longer this could go on for. But, um, so, because this is it's important to point out, this is a 2010 car, isn't it? Yeah. 1060. So it's coming up to seven years old. So yeah. you're saying over time the build quality of it's not as is that what you saw yeah, going on? I think maybe some of the fixes that they've used could do to be replaced, just to yeah. maybe basically bring them all back to the surface and yeah. contact so that they're not loose. But just the maybe the design as well of the roof yeah. hasn't been thought of for like long term development. I don't know, but it does rattle in here sometimes. Yeah. In the sun, it's not too bad because it warms up all the seals, right? So they get a bit more flex in them, so you don't get the chafing noise, right? Um, in the winter it's cold, yeah. it's when it's... Exactly, when it's cold and the rubber hardens up a little bit. That sound no. Yeah, you, you don't get bored of that. Yeah, it's yeah. really good. Okay, so we've got the rattles, you don't yeah. like. The other point is the run flats. Yeah. What's your third thing you don't like about this car? So when the roof is down, the, like, the access aperture is tiny. I do think the boot is quite big because it stretches all the way to the rear seats. Yeah. But the access point, it's small. Yeah. It's really small. You know, I couldn't even get in a small hand luggage piece of uh, well, hand luggage. I couldn't fit through the aperture without putting the roof back up. Up. And then, so then put it back put it in. Yeah, and then put yeah. the roof down again. Exactly. Yeah. So that, that aperture hole is, is frustrating. It's as if you need like a split tailgate. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like yeah, drop yeah. it down and slide things in and out. Quite yeah, yeah, I do agree with you on that because if I'm going away and I pick up a friend on the way there, I find myself I have to put the roof back up again to squeeze the stuff in and then put it back down. Yeah. It's, it's, it is a tiny little hole. Yeah. Okay, that's number three. Number four. Struggling. <laughs> ah. Fuel economy, would you say? Is, yeah. that, is that another one or it's not really? But It's just completely to be expected though, isn't it? With this when engine, you, yeah. yeah. When you, like I said, I can drive sensibly and I reach 40 mpg, yeah. which is really good. Yeah, that's really, fantastic. Really good. Yeah. A 300 yeah, horse car. Yeah, yeah. So it, it's only when I then put my foot down and get both turbos in the you know, and do that for 10, 15 minutes that I would then say that the fuel economy is bad. It's not, yeah. But, um, so you see, fuel economy is okay. Yeah. It's, you wouldn't say yeah. it's, a, it's a drawback. I haven't noticed that any difference between the previous car I had and that had zero turbos on Turbo. it that was naturally aspirated. I get the same MPG on the same route I take to work. Yeah. Completely the same driving style, because it's still me. Yeah. I get a very similar MPG. Right. Yeah. But I get an increased performance. Yeah. So that's, I, that's I, the, I don't think there's any drawback to that's it. That's the boost. The chafing, would you say, with the Alcantara, is that one? Yeah, it's a slight design a flaw. Slight design flaw. Yeah. And I've seen other people also have that problem on their cars. On their car. You notice it more in the white. Right. Alcantara. 
because it, it does fade to go to a black pedal of the seatbelt, which is slightly annoying. So would you say BMW should have like stopped the Alcantara a bit lower down so it doesn't rub? Yeah, potentially, or just... Yeah, I, I don't think these seats need to be quite as high up. Maybe that's my fifth point, is the seats. Right. I don't think the seats are sporty enough. Yeah, okay. I, I do see where you're coming from. You what, A bit more bolstering, a bit more... Yeah, they just need to... My old car had really nice looking M Sport seats. Yeah. I, I just don't think these look that sporty. I, I don't know what the non M Sport seats look like, but they must look terrible. Yeah. <laughs> if I, these are the M Sport seats, it's, I think it could be improved, look slightly more sporty. And that's a great point, actually, because if this is one of the top of the range cars and it's the quicker one, you'd think it needs more sporty, aggressive yeah. seats to hold Hug you in. You around the, the waist. And, yeah. You know, it, it is there, you can tie it because these are fully adjustable, these seats, right. to bring you in on the on your clear waist. But I just don't think the overall design is that cool. They're yeah, quite yeah, big, yeah, aren't yeah. they? When you look like the Audis and the Mercs and stuff, I think they've, they've got their seat game on point. Yeah, definitely, uh, definitely. So I do I think agree with you now. Could, could improve yeah. in, in style. But so, they are comfortable. They are very comfortable, very, very comfortable. For long journeys, it's yeah. really, really nice. And these are heated as well, so. Yeah. Uh, and that, do you find that they heat up quite quickly in the cold? It gets so hot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and the head gets hot really quickly. Yeah, and then it comes back down, or oh, I've just got used to it. Yeah. It's singed, but uh, no, they're, they're really good. Okay, so let's sum up. Five points. Number one. The aperture on the, the rear. Okay, the aperture at the rear, the rattles. The seatbelt rubbing. Seatbelt rubbing, the run flats, and, and the, seats. the seats. Right, yeah. fantastic, okay. And in terms of practicality, would you say this car's fairly practical on a day-to-day -day basis? Because this is your daily, isn't it? Yeah, this is my daily. I, I have no other commitments to make, you know. It's yeah. just me driving myself to work or driving to the airport, going back home. Yeah. The only time this car is a problem, because I've actually got a sick positive thing about this car. Oh, yeah? I can get a golf bag in the back here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, with the roof up, obviously. With the roof <laughs> up, yeah, yeah. Because you can get it just in on the whip. Yeah, oh yeah, well, okay, yeah. side to side, yeah. You can do it, yeah. And that's with the clubs out. <laughs> but I can still get my <laughs> golf bag in there, lay the golf clubs down. That's so a really good clothes. thing. <laughs> that's a really good thing. Yeah. So you can go you can go for a you know, round of golf in this car. Yeah. But you can't take anyone with you, you have to put the golf <laughs> bags yeah. on the seat. The other person's hugging them. <laughs> yeah, the on the seat, yeah. So it's actually fairly practical then. Yeah, I mean the only time I'd need more space for moving home or you know I've got loads of stuff for Christmas going back home for a while yeah but even then just have like a soft shell bag and you can really make the most of the space like yeah, you said yeah, yeah, the boot yeah. is deep yeah it keeps going back you keep ramming stuff in there you need. yeah you can you can and if it is just me driving you've got all this space in here to fill up yeah <laughs> as long as you've got this area here that's nothing obstructing you that fine. you're fine yeah. and you've got the load through facility haven't you so you can even yeah. put through things through there yeah which is good uh, okay, fantastic. So, running costs. How much is it to fill up the tank on this on the 35i? Uh, I'd say anywhere between 55 and 65. Quid. 65. Quid. So it's about the same as me, actually. Yeah, yeah. I think my tank size must be the same. The same size, yeah. 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 But at the moment, I've been for the last month, I've been using Shell V Power Plus. I think it is. Ooh. Because I just want to know if there's any difference. Yeah, I was the same when I got my car. Yeah, yeah, I just want to know if there's any difference. Um, at the moment. I'd say it's actually zero. Zero difference. No difference to economy. I don't know if there Let's is. Or maybe increased performance. I don't know. It's not been noticeable. Because they say the V Power Plus, it should feel a little bit, your engine should be a bit more responsive. But yeah. I was the same. I was like, I can't really tell. So I've been running it for a month and my economy is not improved, to be honest with you. My yeah. performance isn't noticeably different. But the one the reason I still maybe probably carry on doing it is if it cleans the engine. Yeah. Because this car's in 60,000 uh, miles, yeah, 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 it may yeah. have a lot of soot in builds. You know, I'm sure mm. it's only a good thing just to give it a bit of a clean inside. Yeah. And then that yes. will help it run better, then maybe that's when I'll get my better return in economy. I don't know, but at the moment I've not noticed anything. And how, what are you averaging miles per gallon wise? To work, when I'm commuting, it's about 36 to 36. 36 miles per gallon, not bad for a six. And, uh, three litre twin turbo yeah that's really good yeah that's really, really good. good really really good 
Right, so here's, you've got some nice little switchback roads here. So hopefully we can hear this wonderful engine even more. Yeah, and that, the overrun as well when you check ah, here. Did you hear that? The yeah. pops and crackles. Yeah. Really smooth, isn't it? Like, yeah. The build-up. It's one of the compliments of this engine is that BMW designed it so that it feels like a naturally aspirated engine. I think they're really good at doing it. So you don't suddenly get to 3,000 RPM and shoot yeah. off. You've got this smooth, smooth power band. Power. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's quick. It's definitely quick. Yeah. So how does it differ to yours? In in feel with the engine and stuff. I mean, it's always different when you're a passenger. But. Yeah, this definitely feels like it's got more grunt. Mm. Mine, it's for me in second gear. That's when you really feel it starting to pull. Yeah. First is a bit flat, and mine once I get to about four or five thousand RPM, it starts to die down. I don't know if it's because that's the trade of a turbo, but I don't know if because mine's underpowered, whereas yours might keep going. Yeah, this 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 does keep going. <laughs> Because mine, six, five thousand, it's, you can tell it's starting to run out of puff and it yeah, needs to yeah. go to that next gear so to, then to keep pulling. So that's horsepower kicks yeah. in. So your turbo fades off and then the torque flattens out Flattens completely. out, yeah. Whereas and yours. horsepower then picks up yeah. to, tech, to carry me through up to six, seven thousand up here. Yeah. Definitely. But I've always had big engines. I really, really... Yeah. You know, it's just so smoother as well. And I find it, if you're driving sensibly, yeah. it doesn't make that much difference with the fuel economy. But the benefits far outweigh it for me. Yeah, yeah. especially when you're on a nice day like today, when you're, yeah, yeah. you're hooning it down. So guys, we're gonna do a video after this, comparing my car to Christian's car. <laughs> I had no idea that was the bump was there. <laughs> That's so hidden. They are very hidden. <laughs> I no oh, it's like, oh, we're taking off. <laughs> yeah, so that's two more alloys on the order. Oh, <laughs> no. So that's the thing. Let's hope they don't crack. <laughs> but the sound is fantastic on these. Yeah, so many sound plays. It sounds amazing. Maybe, maybe the brakes could do to be sharper, but maybe that's because mine are slightly faded as well. But. To be fair, 60,000 miles, yeah, it might. Might as well be Okay, and tyres, I suppose, are they the same width? They must be the same size tyres yeah, as mine. Yeah, they'll be exactly the same as Same as, as mine? Yeah. Um, oh, brilliant. Okay, so guys, hope you got a little insight into that. We've run through what Christian loves, what he doesn't like, a bit of the engine performance. So watch out for the next video. We're going to do a comparison against my car versus the 35i. So hope you enjoyed that video, guys. Big thanks to Christian for coming down. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah, it's always nice to get the guys that yeah. appreciate the car. Yeah, exactly. It's always it. great to share a passion with someone who loves who loves cars and who loves the Z4. So I uh, hope you enjoyed that video, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.